just go on back? Just lean on back, yeah. Just let your legs go free and lean back. Well, we are leaving one beautiful island to go to another beautiful island. <laughs> we are going to the Cayman Islands today. And hopefully we catch ourselves a yellowfin tuna, maybe a bonefish, maybe a wahoo. All sorts of things. So I'm gonna load up the car, or should I say the truck? I got something very special here. This right here is the old Sword Glory decal. We got it made a little bit bigger. We're gonna slap this on the back of the TRX. Right there. That way when I drive to Miami in about 30 minutes, everybody's gonna know who it be. It's the South Florida Fishing Channel, baby. All right, look, I can see myself. <laughs> Give the surface just a little. Man, how'd I get her so dirty already? Might be time for a, a real bath. She's a little dirty. But I'm thinking that looks pretty good right there. I'm I'm gonna screw this up 100%. Right there looks pretty good. I only got one shot. The first thing that you do is you separate the vinyl from this sticker here. You wanna make sure that all these letters come off. Ooh, this is this is a tough one boys it's doing it though it's doing it flawlessly we have it the entire decal uh oh oh my god oh my god i am going to screw this up oh god i accidentally just stuck it on there That is not where I wanted it to go, but it actually doesn't look bad. I can I can live with that. Then I got this little squeegee tool. Let's peel this sucker off. Bam, well there you have it. Okay, I wanted it to be a little more into this corner, but I think it came out actually kind of perfect. So I need to get my butt to the airport. We got an international flight, baby. I swear I'm forgetting something, but I got my passport. That's really all I need, right? Just the passport. I'm just sitting here contemplating because I am 100% certain that I am forgetting something. I think I'm good. All right, let's hit it. Two years ago, John invited me to the Cayman Islands to stay with his family, and we were gonna do a sword fishing tournament, which I was super stoked about. That, yeah, that was like two and a half years ago, then COVID hit, and all the travel restrictions happened, and I wasn't able to get up on that trip, which was super unfortunate, but it's finally time for redemption. John hit me up and was like, you wanna to try to make this trip happen again? So here I am, flights booked, flights in uh, two and a half hours. So I'm driving up to Miami. It's a one and a half hour flight to the Cayman Islands. So real quick flight. It's gonna be a totally different type of fishing. Can't wait. Good old blue ball. <laughs> I almost said blue ball. The, the good old blue wall. This is the bridge leading from Homestead, Miami, South Florida area into the Keys. This is the bridge that you're probably driving over when you come visit. You guys want to hear the TRX purr a little bit? All right, all right, hold on. just hit 500 miles on the TRX and you know what that means? That means launch mode is now activated. 
So basically, I can go 10 times as fast now. <laughs> yeah, baby. But uh, I'm not gonna be able to test out the launch mode probably until uh, until I get back from the Cayman Islands because uh, where am I supposed to launch this thing, you know? Look at this truck in front of me. That's a Ford, but it's lowered. It's a low rider. Can someone explain that to me? Why you would lower a truck? Cause I, I always thought it was the higher up you are, the better, cause then you can run over stuff. We have arrived. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. See, I parked at the fire hose connection so that way no one can park here. Potentially scratch old Betsy here. We wouldn't want that now, would we? This button's broken. Oh, there we go. We're stuck at two forever. Made it to the Cayman, and the first stop is this is uh, Foster's, or we, yeah, Foster's, which is basically their version of their grocery store. Got myself a bag. I'm gonna load up on some food, and then John and his wife are gonna pick me up, take me back to their house, and then we got three epic days of fishing ahead. We're gonna be targeting yellowfin tuna, wahoo, bonefish, all sorts of stuff. But let's go get some food first. Okay, we're back from the grocery store. If you're interested, what I got. Pretty simple, couple of things of milk. This right here is how you get big. I also brought some protein powder from back from Florida, which I'll be using at the milk. Gotta get them vitamins, got the juice. Lots of tuna, beef jerky, some German sausage, which I'm going to have as a dessert. Bananas, assortment of nuts, that's my other dessert. More dessert, some chocolate milk. And then a final dessert, some chocolate granola. And look at this place. This is where I'm gonna be sleeping for the next uh, six nights. And I gotta say, it's really nice. Got a big old bed and look at this view. I also got my laptop right here. I'm gonna be doing some work in a second, but check this out. So we are actually on the water. I'm on the side of the house right now, but the boat is right there on the dock and we just go right out here and you'll go about a mile this way and it goes from 100 feet down to like 1500, 1700 feet. So there's a huge ledge and that's where all the tuna are. And we're gonna go look for those tuna. If you're wondering where we're at, we are on the west end of the Grand Cayman Island, right in this area. And we're only about 15 minutes away from the airport. You know what, after working for a few hours, I decided I'm gonna go check out the beach. So we're here at the Ritz, check it out. You 
guys are probably itching to watch some fishing. But before we go fishing, we got one more small roadblock. We are going to do some diving. All right, damn, is that corn? There's freaking corn in here. Now apparently there's a ledge that goes from 60 feet all the way down to like 1700 feet. It sounds crazy. I told John that I really wanted to dive it. So he set me up with a dive trip. That's what we're gonna do now. Hey man, <laughs> you coming diving today? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm nice Sean, to meet you. Nice Sean, Heiko, yeah, too. How's it going, man? Yeah. Heiko, yeah, yeah, we met yesterday, we right? Met, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice, you got a proper amount of rod holders on this boat. Yes. No shortage. No. That's perfect. Yeah, my boat's got like 32 and I'm still like, I need more. <laughs> yeah, no, we have more than enough on here. Finally on the water, and we are out here with Pierre and Sean. How's it going, guys? And uh, this guy's gonna be our captain today, and he's gonna be taking us fishing for the next couple of days. And we're gonna start it off with some diving. And uh, what can we expect out there? So uh, we're out here on the, the north wall, out here in Grand Cayman. Um, so beautiful conditions today. Beautiful vez, flat calm. Uh, hopefully, see some lots of big snappers, big groupers some eagle rays, maybe some sharks, hopefully. Um, and we're cruising along the drop off, like 75, 80 feet, just having a good time. I'm just gonna be following them around so I don't get lost out there. I heard there's a big drop off. Drops from about uh, 60 feet, pretty much straight down to about a thousand right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going deep, let's go. Oh yeah. So then just put your regulator in your mouth now. Yep. Palm on your regulator, fingers on your mask. And then just lean on back, let your legs go free, don't tuck your legs. He's gonna bring the spear. And then, okay. um, yeah, you can basically just go hang up front for Sean, and I'll be right behind you. And just go on back? Just lean on back, yeah. Just let your legs go free and lean back. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
was cool. Look at this distinguished gentleman. Look at the way he is sitting. Yes, very distinguished. Mm -hmm. I'm back at John's house, just got back from the dive. And if you're ever in Cayman and you wanna go on a dive trip, snorkeling trip, go see some stingrays or do some offshore fishing, go hit up here. I'll link his information in the video description below. We're gonna be doing a few more trips with him in the next couple of videos. And two things that happened to me, uh, I shot that lionfish and when you shoot them with those like barbless tips you're not supposed to pull back because i just pulled the shaft right out of that uh lionfish and he took off and the other thing was i took this gopro down with me but it's not in a case it's just like in this uh it's in an open case so you can take it right out and what happened was as we went down the pressure caused the record button to get stuck and it wouldn't when i was pushing it it wasn't recording so i couldn't get any like really close up cool footage of the corals and all the reef fish Dang it! That's a little unfortunate. My bad, both parts. But I learned, next time I'm gonna make sure that's in an underwater housing next time I go diving. But in about 30 minutes, we're gonna head out on another boat. John and his son, Ethan, are gonna be joining me, or more like I'm joining them. <laughs> um, they put together this trip for me. And we're gonna do some bone fishing, I think. So I'm gonna rest for like 15 minutes and I'll see you on the boat. I only got 30 minutes of recording space left. Oh, so, yeah. We better not have too much fun now. Yeah, we can't have too much fun. We gotta take it easy. We can only catch two fish. I'll haul a bomb right here. Oh, bomb. How you doing? How you I'm going, a high Owen, let me meet you. You too. Send out the worm. No drag on there? Oh no, it's effed along the bottom. This is bonefish we're going after? Yeah. Alright. Come here, you little bonefish. Dang, that was a good hit. That was a really good hit. So satisfying catching a fish on artificial. Just let it run. <laughs> I'm backhanded because I'm left handed. <laughs> oh, Come baby. On, that's a screamer. Oh, that's a nice bonefish. Holy smokes. <laughs> That's a big bonefish. Hold him to the camera, hold him to the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go over with him. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Here we go. Nice, yep. good work. Nice work. Yeah, bonefish. Yeah! <laughs> Fish on, baby. Oh. Here he comes. These are freaking feisty fish. Woo! Oh, oh he popped technical off. Technical release, technical release. Yeah, catch and release. <laughs> I saw him, so, you know, it, it yeah, counts. Yeah. Does that count as the first Cayman? I think it counts. Yeah, I think that counts. The side of the boat. Yeah, that looks like Hello, a fish, buddy. I think. Fish on, fish on. What do we think it is? It's a very jump. Woo! This is not an official log, uh, yeah. 
Uh, he ate that, that dude. It's a rockin'. Oh, right in the lure. Couple, you, couple of nice fish you got there. We tried, we got a little bit, but. Yeah, good meeting you. you. Thanks a lot. All enjoy. All right, we'll see you later. All right, you guys, later. Later. All right, we just got done fishing with Owen. Ethan over here got us some barracudas, which we're gonna be using for deep drop bait, right? Maybe, deep drop tuna bait. bait deep tuna drop bait, tuna. We're gonna be using it for some kind of bait. We're gonna be running, taking the boat out tomorrow. And right now we're at the ice factory, which is this crazy big thing. And I think it's about to put some ice in the boat. <laughs> That's a lot of ice. Well, that was a serious ice factory. John and I just got a sneak peek on the inside of it. And how much with 30,000 pounds of ice is in there? 30,000. I've never seen that much ice in one spot before. You could build a ski hill in there. It smelled like a ski resort. I was about to go sledding. All right, so we got the boat full of ice and we are about to head offshore and look for some big yellowfin tuna, wahoo, and whatever else bites. We might even drop for some swordfish, but it is currently four in the morning, and this is gonna be the end of this video and the start of the next video, so make sure you hit that subscribe button because I got the next video coming out in a couple of days for y'all, and I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Cheers.